So welcome to a new lecture. This time the problem is a little more challenging. We again have three tables with us, table one, two, and three. The challenge here is that in the first table, we have the column region and then the sales column. In table number two, we have region and sales, but I'm purposefully making it the opposite. So I'm keeping sales in the beginning and then region afterwards. And then in the final one, we have region and sales in the right order, but rather than revenue, we have rather than sales, we have a heading called revenue. So let's look at the problem that we have. The first challenge is that the column order is not the same. It is region and sales in table one in table two, it is sales and region problem. Number two, in the third table, the order is okay. We have region in the beginning and the number in the second column, but the spelling is different. Let us see how we can do an append despite these problems. Like I said last time, the first thing we want to do is to click on data and then add it to power query. Now, unlike last time, I will not click on close and load because we don't want this individual query to be loaded yet. Why? Because we don't care about this individual result. We want only the appended result to be loaded. So I will not click on close and load. I will select the second option, which is close and load two. And this time I will not select a table. I will select the fourth option, which is a connection. This means that while we are creating the power query, we are, while we are creating the query on power query, we are not showing the result right now. We are only creating a connection. So you notice that even though a connection to table one has been created, the fourth sheet like last time has not been added. So I'll do the same thing here as well. We add it. And we don't want to click on close and load. So we select close and load two, and we select only create connection. And then one final time we will click on from table range on the third table and we select close and load to my connection. So as you can see, we only have three sheets and we have three connections with us. And now we can start and uh, do the transformation to make sure all the data comes in one single location. So I will open Power Query Editor. You can simply click on launch Power Query Editor in the data group. Now table number one and two are very close. That means that while the columns are not in the same order, we still have the same columns. So we can click on append, append queries as new. And remember, we don't want to choose all the three tables. I just want to choose table one and table two, but you know what? Let's select three tables and see what happens. So if I select all the three tables and I press okay, you would wonder why would we get the right result? The columns are not the same spelling. The columns are not even in the right order, but when you append all the three tables, the result comes like this. So if you notice table number one and two have been appended together in the right order. So region is the first column and sales is the second column, despite the fact that in our second table, if you remember, sales was the first column and region was the second column. So how did it get fixed? Power query fixed it automatically, but there is a problem with the third table in the third table sales is null and revenue is 30, 40. And in the final, in, in the first two tables, I have the sales value, but the revenue value is null. What do we do? I'm just going to make this sales old. So I'm renaming it. I will select both the columns, click on add column and then select merge columns. What does that do? It creates a new column for me and I keep the separator as none, which means that when I'm concatenating 10 and null, the result will be 10. And when I'm concatenating null and 30, the result will again be 30 which means I will get a number as a result. The result comes as 10, 60, 70, and so on and so forth. I can simply rename this as sales, remove these two because we don't need it. So right click and remove, and that's it. You get your final result. Very impressive, right? We did not have to do any manual change. Despite the fact that columns were not in the right order, despite the fact that in one of the tables, the column spelling was different. We are still managing to get the result that we want. So when I go to home and click on close and load, 
Now we will get our final result, which is all the three tables pulled together like this. And here's the best part. If you go and add some more values, so if I say North, let me make it North 50 and I make it North 60, go back and right click refresh. Notice it gets picked up perfectly, despite the fact that the spellings were not matching and the order was not matching.